Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record a portion of your ultra wide monitor using OBS. So my screen is 3440 by 1440, but this applies to anyone that wants to just record a portion of their screen. So you see here, I have my OBS environment and the first step that you probably see in most videos that teach you how to record a portion of your screen, tell you to go to settings, go to videos and make sure that you have this set to 1080p. So this is 1920 by 1080. Have that for your base canvas as well as your output. This just makes sure you get the same output when you're done recording. All right, so I call this step zero just because this is just the base, right? But if you have an ultra wide screen, this next step, which is to add a display capture. So just come here and select display capture. And I'm just gonna leave this as the default. You can name this whatever you want. I, you see in the past, I've called this portion of my screen. So go ahead and press OK. So you see here, this is actually recording my other screen. So I'm going to move this over to my monitor here and press OK. So we see here, it is looking a bit funky right now. So this is a, the exact problem we're trying to solve where even if we bring this down, let's say we bring it over here. All we're going to see is the size of my actual screen. So you see, I have these screens that look like a rectangle, right? So essentially what I'm trying to do here is carve out 1920 times 1080p out of this screen. So to do that, what you want to do is right click on your display capture and go into transform and press edit. And over here you have in the bottom here, it says crop. So essentially that's what we're doing. We're cropping our screen. So I'm going to crop this to the middle of the screen. And to do this, all I have to do is fill out these sections here. The left side here is going to be 760. The right side is also going to be 760. The top is going to be 180. And the bottom is going to also be 180. And I'll press close on this. And this has just cropped this to fit exactly 1080p. So, other videos might tell you to press alt and move this around, right? But essentially what you have to do is know exactly what you're doing, right? You need to know the math that I just put in behind there. So essentially what this has done is just calculated 1080p out of my screen. So if you're wondering how I got these numbers, this is the math that you use to get those numbers. So essentially what you're doing is taking the horizontal size in my case, that's 3440. You subtract that from 1920, and then you take your vertical size and subtract that by 1080. And whatever you get divided by two, that's how you get these numbers. And you place them on the left and right side, as well as the top and bottom, respectively. So pretty simple math, not too complicated. If you have a different screen size, feel free to plug those in and put those as the boundaries to crop your screen with. So what I can do now is just bring an application over here and try to make sure I size it to fit exactly that 1080p screen that I just made. So I can bring this here and size it to fit exactly into this box. All right, there you go. This is how you can set up 1080p in your environment. So all you need to do now is position the app or content that you want to record into the center of your screen and you should be good to record. I do have a bonus step here uh, where you can easily resize your window without having to do this whole process of resizing it manually. So now that you've set the boundaries to record, you're gonna have to resize your app into this box every time you need to record. That could be a pain. To easily do this, you need to install an app called Power Tools and I put the link in the descriptions. So I already use this app often. It has several other features, but um, for the point of this, we're gonna go into a part of this app called Fancy Zones. So inside of Fancy Zones, you see something called Launch Editor. I'll go ahead and click that. And you see this place where you get the option to create a new layout. I already have a few I've done before. This second one you see here, it only highlights just a section of my screen. So that's essentially what we're trying to do here. So I'll just click create a new layout, click canvas, press create. And now we have a canvas here that I'm gonna position 
to fit exactly into the 1080p screen that I, I created. Before I go into creating this, I'm going to show you my larger ultra wide screen just so you see some of the parts that I'm showing you that you don't see here. So I'll go ahead and show you my full screen here and then I'll go into launch editor and then I'll create that new layout, press canvas, press create. And now you see me dragging this into just the portion of my screen here. And I'm going to drag this exactly into 1080p, which I already know this because that's the portion of the screen that I want. And then I'll press save. So great. I already have this. I can press save on that. Just select this and that will be uh, the layer that you use. So now that I have this, I can go ahead and uh, bring this uh, this page that I have and move it around. I can make this really big. And now to bring this back to that zone that we just created, I'll press shift. And once I press shift, you see that zone is highlighted. I'll just drop it in that zone and it's going to take form of that zone. So now I know this is going to be what I could use to easily record 1080p within this ultra wide screen. All right. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more quick tips like this. Thanks for watching.